Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to give you guys an update about the Healink digital FPV system from the guys over at Profi CNC and Hex. Now if you saw my other video I gave you guys an overview of this new upcoming product. Now today there's a bit of news that the system is now entering the beta purchase phase. Now what I mean by that is the guys over at Hex and Profi whenever they release something new they tend to do it initially in low numbers in what they call beta which allows them to iron out any issues solve any problems before it reaches the full retail stage now even though it's a beta the hardware will be pretty much set in stone there will be no changes on the hardware whatsoever but it just means the units that you buy today might not have all of the software functionality however it will come with firmware updates in the future so if you are interested in getting on board with this now you can order it they're in very limited numbers for $799 from the guys over at Profi CNC now I'll put a link to the order page in the description of this video as well now if you don't know what here link is it is a brand new digital FPV and remote control system from the guys who make the Pixhawk 2. Now it has been specifically designed to use with Arj Pilot. However, you have an ear system which transmits video back to a remote controller that has a built-in Android screen and you have the remote control sticks on either side. Very similar to what Unique have done with the ST16, but it's a lot smaller. Now they have given us a bit more information now as well with the release of the beta program and it gives us a bit more marketing info and again the overall specs are transmission up to 20 kilometers with a range of less than 110 milliseconds the ear unit has dual hdmi inputs with the option of picture in picture and it will transmit video back up to 1080p 60 frames a second it is all in one unit so it will integrate data link remote control and video display all in one and that is the real benefit of this system unlike anything else and as i said it is similar to the dji lightbridge system however it has got a built-in screen so it covers pretty much everything you would need to do the other big set of features with this system is the amount of onboard processing and for most general users this probably won't be that important however if you are a developer or a custom system builder there is a lot of horsepower in both the remote control system and the e system as well so it means you're going to be able to run custom applications on both sides and it really is going to be interesting to see what people come up with from this um power consumption they're saying it's got just under a five amp battery which will give it plenty of use in normal uh, operating conditions it's small and if you can see it compared to the pixhawk 2.1 it means you're not going to have too many problems getting it on board your aircraft and the interesting thing about the uh, base site the uh, ground station is that it is android based and it's going to be running a version of q ground control now there is also noises that it will run a custom version of solex as well now we won't have that in the early stages i believe however it will be there as time goes on the big thing with anything from the guys at profi cnc and hex is that it is all open source so it is literally totally open you can see if you have any worries with regards to data security you can do whatever you want with inside it and it supports the mavlink protocol as well so it means it's going to be fully compatible with all of the pixel systems as well as anything else that uses mavlink for information this is going to be a very very interesting system i am extremely excited about this one if i'm honest whilst lightbridge is very very good it doesn't work particularly well with custom applications especially with the pixhawk so if we were looking for something that really will give you total system integration this is the first time for a pixhawk based system that we have seen i'm hoping to get my hands on one as soon as i possibly can however as i said if you are interested in becoming one of the first guys to get your hands on it the initial beta versions are now out there $799 I think when it comes to retail it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive probably closer to $899 I reckon so when it does come to full 
uh, public release, it's going to cost a little bit more. But if you are desperate to get your hands on this, get in there early and you can order it now. The full specification for the healing system is on the Profi CNC website as well, so go check it out in the link. Something that has been asked several times is, does the ground unit have HDMI output? The answer for that one is no. However, because this system is Android-based, it does mean that you can install any Chromecast application and share the screen via Wi-Fi with any Chromecast compatible device. So you can do the usual Android screen sharing if you want to. However, you cannot HDMI out via the device, unfortunately. It simply doesn't have the port in this version. Um, something someone else asked, is there going to be just a ground station that can be hooked up to anything else? Here and now, we do not know. The This is the initial version of the system, and like anything, these guys have worked hard to get it ready and get it out the door. Once they've done that and they've managed to get some sales on the board I suspect then they would begin to look at other options and other accessories around the initial product that might allow you to connect it to uh, broadcast situations and things like that here and now this is the initial version designed to get it into the market that is it for this video I just wanted to give you guys an update on it and um, if anyone does order it and you manage to get your hands on it before me please do let me know and put some comments in this video as well and that is it for this video. If you've liked what you've seen, please do check out some of the other videos we have on the channel. As I've mentioned, we do have over 150 of them. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. By clicking that button in the bottom right-hand corner of the video, you'll get updates. And please do check out the links in the description if you're going to buy any products. That's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll do another video again soon.